Let's talk about fintech and the microfinance banking industry under the new CBN leadership. I'm joined by a digital banking professional, managing director, Bain's Credit uh, Microfinance Bank, Ayobama Degoke. Thank you for joining us on the program this hour. Uh, your industry, the fintech industry in Nigeria, we understand has grown significantly in recent years. It dominated the African fintech with a 42% share of deals in the second quarter of this year. Uh, what do you think is working? And can we attribute these to CBN policies? Okay. Uh, good evening, Femi, and thank you for, for having me. So I think to, to your question, I, I would say that Nigeria actually put in place some things that make uh, the fintech industry grow, which make us see what the growth we are seeing today. And I also say, like you said, what is the CBN, what are the, this has done? CBN has actually set a foundation for the growth that we are seeing today. The APS Bank sometimes in 2013, 2014, launched the BBN technology, which allows a, a customer to have a unique identifier in the industry. This is more like what battered the fintech industry that we have today. Also, the instant payment policy of the CBN that is, that is being operated by, by NIPS, it's also a policy that have helped in the fintech industry a lot in the growth and uh, innovation that they are doing. Also recently, the CBN launched uh, a, the guideline on open banking, which allows uh, industry players in the fintech and different banks to also collaborate, integrate with each other using API. So I think these are some of the policies that have helped the industry to grow and actually so, uh, attract funding from uh, investors across, across the world. And, I think even if we look at 2022, the fintech in Nigeria raised about 1.2 billion US dollar uh, in, in Africa, uh, and the lead in Africa followed by Kenya and Egypt. So I think uh, the CBN has done well in preparing this foundation that the fintech are, are growing on. However, we also need to give credit to the founders and players in the industry. They have been very innovative in, 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 in creating products and services that mm. have actually complement the traditional conventional banks that have been in the industry for a whole while. And even at that, they are also one of the champions of the financial inclusion strategy of, of CBS. So I think it, it, it is a, it, a two-way uh, engine. So the, the fintech players have also grown tremendously. They are putting more drive agility in creating products. I think the, well, we have to also give credit to CBN for allowing, giving that enabling environment that allows them to create this product and also to also integrate and uh, work with the, the commercial and other bank institution. Indeed. So I think we have to give accolade to CBN. That's... You agree with me that there's still room for improvement, particularly with the access to these facilities and also the regulation. As a stakeholder yourself in, in the fintech yeah, industry, uh, absolutely, there, there is, there yes. is room, there will always be room for improvement. And what we are seeing is that Nigeria itself is a developing country, so mm. definitely the industries are sectors are also developing. So there is always room for improvement, and that, that's why I think recently the CBN also launched a framework for a regulatory sandbox where they align the fintech players to come in and develop their product, test it with the help of the regulator also looking at the product so that launching it to be more easier than it used to be. So the improvements that is not going, I just do think that, that there needs to be more collaboration and engagement in the industry so that uh, the, the economy at large can feel the impact of these uh, innovations. Talk to us then about how the CBN uh, under its new administration uh, can boost the MSME in the short and medium term? So, so thank you, Femi. That's, that's something that I think we, it, it needs to be brought to the front burner. So uh, MSME is the, is the stronghold of any, any country. They are the one that employ the most. And uh, I think any government that wants to succeed and impact the economy needs to focus more on this MSME. So I think the CBN, in as much as you are focusing on the macroeconomic, mm -hmm. also need to look at the risk sector and this bottom of the pyramid segment, which are the micro small businesses that employs a number of people. And I think uh, they have to go into collaboration with uh, MFIs, microfinance institution and microfinance bank that already has a model that works and serve this uh, segment of people by engaging them and through financial literacy, intervention funds, and some other special funds that speak to different sectors in this, in this bill of pyramid so that they can stimulate the economy. Because the truth is, 
the, the, every day you see a new startup coming up on come on board. You don't see a big four come on board every day. But mm. these are the people that employ the people uh, in, in the society. So we need to stimulate them more. I think if you take example of India and China, this is what they do more well. So they have a lot of MSME that are building product that they are exporting and even earning FX from, from there. So I think it's something with our population, Nigeria needs to also focus more on this MSME sector to get more people employed and yeah. able to create uh, products and services that impact the GDP of the of the of the country. So you operate in the microfinance um, bank industry that um, uh, services the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, what do you think the Apex Bank, yeah, under its new leadership, can do to stimulate the MFB in this regard? So, so like, like I mentioned, so what I, I see in the, what happened in the old management was when policy had been formulated at the Apex Bank, the 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 micro institution and the financial banks industry are not actually being carried along or properly engaged. To actually also contribute to the policy formulation, and this is, for example, the the narrow design that we'll be talking about that was actually a failure. Uh, it, 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 maybe it could have been better managed if the CBN have actually also engaged the microfinance institution and the microfinance banks in the uh, in the, in the, the uh, release of this narrow note to the customer. So those are a couple of uh, the gaps that you see in the APS bank, and I think the new leadership needs to do more of engagement and collaboration with the. A microfinance institution and banks uh, to ensure that uh, the, whatever policy they are trying to implement that will impact the economy is holistically reviewed such that the microfinance sector, the MSME sector that microfinance has served, will also be considered why this policy has been made so that whatever it will affect the policy have, will be better managed and even implementation will be done seamlessly when you have everybody understand what the aim and objective of the policy is, is, is going to be. Implementing it will become seamless and everybody will prepare for the implementation in terms of if you have to change the operation model, if you have to create new new products and services to ensure that that policy works and impact the economy. But in a situation where all what you see is just a circular being released and being effected without proper engagement and collaboration, we we'll always have a, 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 back, a, a negative effect if not properly managed. So I think proper stakeholder engagement, collaboration, uh, uh, literacy training, and uh, is, is something that uh, CBN business bank work can. And also, lastly, I think the the regulator uh, operator handshake also needs to be there. We the, we need to move from an era of where it is a principal student uh, uh, relationship. It has to be a collaboration where we work as partner to because the aim of the CBN and the banks is to stimulate the economy and, and formulate monetary policies that ensure that the, 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 everybody in the economy, especially the bottom of the pyramid, uh, see the effects of whatever policy we are doing. We're looking forward to uh, some, some visible so I, I and impactful and engagement in improvement in this regard. Uh, Digital Banking Professional Managing Director, Bains Credit, Microfinance Bank, Abayomi Adegoke, thank you for talking to us on the program this evening. Thank you for having me, Femi, and I'll be on our way with you. And that's our program today. You can watch a repeat broadcast at midnight and at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I am Nif Femi. We're going to see you again at the top of the